can see here, this is the periodic table, and there are over 100 elements in here. Now, it is not easy nor necessary for students to remember every single element in here. So in high school, students are introduced to about a third of them. Now, it is important for them to remember the electronic configuration of the more common and abundant elements because it is actually linked to their position in the periodic table. Now, this is extremely important because everything that happens in chemistry is based on this. One of the items that needs to be collected in chem paper is ops. Over here, you see the design of the ops, and most of them have got bands on them. Now, the number of bands actually represent the number of filled electron shells, and that actually helps students figure out where they are in the periodic table. An example of this is the potassium op. There are three bands indicating three filled electron shells, plus one more outer shell that's not filled, placing it in the fourth period of the periodic table. However, there are ops like hydrogen that has no bands because it only has one electron, no filled shells, and therefore no bands. Imagine the advantage students would have if they had a picture of the number of filled shells of the common elements. And there you have it. Thank you.